So, yeah, I'm filling this thing out. I don't know what happened. I don't know where it cut off, but what's today? The 3rd, February 3rd. So yeah, they, uh, what happened here? So, they, were, they tried to withhold this form. They tried to withhold this form from me so that I couldn't record in the court. And they tried to make this big deal and said I wasn't breaking any law, but they're not gonna let me do it anyways. And uh, we're not having that. We don't play that, do we? Here you go, sir. Thank you. You're welcome. All set. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. You gotta wait down here while it's being processed. You're okay. Sorry. They're very, they're afraid about First Amendment rights. They're afraid of a camera. This is just a body camera, people. Go right ahead, get it in. Don't waste my time any more than you have, bro. Shit. Come on. Power hungry, power tripping. Don't know what the hell is going on. Jeez, figure it out, bro. You know? Unbelievable. Good. Thank you. They're not going to put a warrant out for my arrest for stickers again? They know you're here. Yeah, they better know I'm here. You saw me do the reading. Yeah. That's that child. That's Tom. Did you answer him? You got to put which type of man. What is it? You got to pick one of those. Oh, sorry about that. I didn't realize that. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. See how I fluctuate? Well, you're speaking normally now. I know I'm speaking normally now because everything seems pretty cool. You know, you guys could have gave me that form to begin with, but did you know about that form to begin with? I got nothing to do with that form. Right, so that's what I mean. You guys hide that form when you should have just been like, oh, hey, yeah, there's a form before you can go through. We got this form here ready for you so you can exercise your First Amendment rights without us trampling on them. You know what I mean? That would be kind of cool. It says America, right? Not China? Well, we're going to find out who you talk to. Almost. We're almost China. <laughs> come on, man. We all, look at how you're acting, guy. Um, you are more than welcome to come in if the camera's off. Or when you get the permission. Or when I get the permission. So I need permission to exercise my First Amendment rights? To record you, you No, I don't. You, you, no, the, the Supreme Court of the United States already said okay. not true. Okay, well, so you need to start looking to actual case law and more higher level case law, supreme case law, than looking at this little bitty or order from the court that violates and abrogates our rights. And you still don't even know what gives you the power besides this order the, to abrogate my rights. The New Hampshire Supreme Court. The New Hampshire Supreme Court allows you to abrogate my constitutional rights. No, it sets the policy for how oh. the is operated. Oh. <laughs> So Same thing, the policy abrogates my rights. The operation is abrogating my rights. You get it? Once you have Do you see that now? Once I have, so, I need per, so you're telling me I need permission to exercise my First Amendment right? Why don't we wait and see what the permission comes down? We'll see. Standing here and arguing is not going anywhere. Well, no, I'm asking you, you're telling me I need permission, correct? Correct. Thank you. We're good? Just walked out. They just got in the office. Unreal. I like that t shirt. Thanks. It's a very well printed logo on that. Oh, thanks. That's the original state seal in New Hampshire, bud. I don't know if you can read that. I can read most of it this Sunday, yeah. Yeah. And this is exactly what we're talking about here. You don't know your rights. You don't have any. I know my rights, but you don't know my rights. You don't even know your rights. 
Because you don't know my rights. Because if you knew your rights, you would know my rights. Does that make sense? Did you follow? Did you follow? <laughs> combative? Combative? Verbally combative? Oh, come on. I'm a wordsmith. You guys just don't like getting put... Yeah, I know, because I can articulate myself and I do know my rights. Okay? I have eyes to see and ears to hear and I do my own research. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You want a chair? What is it? Would you like a chair? No, I'm good. Okay. Just want to get this over with and get on with my day. You know? Do you know why I'm here? Not particularly, no. Do you? Stickers. I was arrested for stickers. I don't know anything. The only, yeah. Have you ever heard of anyone being arrested for stickers? Well, the Manchester PD had never heard of it either. <laughs> so, and twice. This is the second time. The first one was dropped because it's protected speech. First Amendment protected speech. They're removable stickers and they charged me with criminal mischief when there is no damage caused. And there is a graffiti statute that covers any gum label. Even though they've never arrested anyone for a sticker ever here in Manchester until we put up political stickers. Anti-tyranny stickers. These masks. Do you guys have a choice to wear those masks? Yeah. You do? I just recovered from COVID about two weeks ago. So, so why do you need it then? You got the immunity. They just admitted the natural immunity is better than the vaccine immunity. I hope so, but I like Oh, I know so. Don't get that. You know, make your own choices, but I would highly recommend not taking some artificial vaccine that's going to make you immunodependent. And everybody absolutely has a choice on that. Well, well, I mean, I'm just concerned for the overall well-being of our country and the people's health, all right, mine included, and not being forced and locked out of society because I won't wear a mask or because I won't get a vax or being isolated and quarantined on the orders of the federal government because New Hampshire just accepted $27 million to do just that. From the feds. And any other orders they tell us in the future, we have to obey. But that's just boilerplate language, according to Governor Sununu. Concentration camps, boilerplate language, you know. And why do we need any of these measures when we already have a, a, a health code for isolation and quarantine of people? Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. When, the, when we already have a public health code. Why do we need to do all this crazy lockdown stuff and suspending? Why? So that Sununu could do millions of PPE deals for those masks with Dean Kamen. Oh, yeah, look into that a little bit. Grazingthesurface.com. This girl, she's a good patriot here in, in New Hampshire, put this whole website together. It connects all the dots politically with all kinds of proof grazingthesurface.com if you really want to know what's going on in New Hampshire. It's a DJI um, Mimo. So it's like the same. 